everybody, welcome back to the shop. Yes, it's been a long time since I've been back down in the shop. Um, just with a little bit of dinking around with the, with the albatross, with the albatry, uh, between mine and Johnny's. Um, it's, it's, my time at work is a little bit more valuable right now than, it, than, it, than I was hoping it would be. Um, which, you know, it's good for me. It's a little more money coming in, so it helps out. Um, anyway, here's what we're going to start doing today. I figure we're going to take a little bit of a turn on building, and we're going to start painting. So, what I'm doing on the plane, on the wing, let me kind of show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I've got, I've got lines drawn. I came in, I made measurements. I use this as a guide. From center line out to where this started, it was 50% of the wing. So I just came across in here, 12.25 inches, 12 and a quarter, and the other side's is 17.75, so 17 and three quarter. And then I came out and made, did the same thing on the tail end, made measurements, so boom. I had to make adjustments on this lower part here, so where it's gonna end up down here, let me slide the wing, where it's gonna end up down here on the aileron. And just tentatively holding this in place. Uh, because I want this to come out right down here. So that's how I made the adjustments on it And then I did the same thing all the way down there on the other end. So what I'm doing because I am NOT Using any tape when I spray this because I'm spraying the yellow uh, And I want to do the yellow first because that's the lightest color um, And then I'll put the darker colors on top. So what because I'm not concerned um as much with the uh, with the lines on this because the yellow itself can just go ahead and be sprayed on first and I worry about putting the lines on when I'm spraying the red and then I've got the little blue over uh, spray lines too and it's kind of hard I don't know if you're going to be able to see this in the picture but it's it, it works on the wings if I get this close enough because it's kind of grainy it works on the wings and on the tail I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to try to bring it close enough. So this is all this is all up to your interpretation. Between the blue, be, between the red and excuse me, between the blue and the yellow, you can see the red. So what they're doing is they're coming in and they're laying it down with maybe like a sixteenth of an inch, which is probably what I'll do, a little gap. Then I'll spray the blue down. So that way it does have the red, the blue, a little teeny red pin stripe, and then the yellow. So I'm going to do the same thing there, and I'm going to do the same thing on the tail. The tail, you probably won't be able to see it there either, and lower. Um, but it is there. So that, it, was, it doesn't show up well on the picture, on the printout, but in the picture you can see it. So I'm going to do the same thing on the tail uh, with this. So, uh, yeah, that's my plan. I'm sticking to it. So what I'm going to do is just come in, and this is why I kind of just made some little marker lines on the wing. I'll just come on in and come down to these little marker lines and just spray it and over, you know, just spray a little bit past the lines on both sides. I'm going to do a light coat first just to see how it sets up on top of the, uh, on top of the, the silk span. And the reason why I'm over spraying it is because the paint itself is going to help make the silk span a little bit tougher down in here. Because when it comes time to tape this for the red spray, I, I want to make sure that this is as solid as I can get it before I come over and spray it. Now, I'm still tentatively testing out. I'm going to make a test board, and I'll bring this in and show you when it comes time, to because I'll make the test board today. I want to test and see how strong this stuff is going to be. Um, just because I want... see if I can phrase this right. I want to make sure that I'm not going to tear this up, that the paint is going to have decent stiction to it while I'm taping it, but if you knew how much this is holding on to that tape, it's kind of scary. Um, what I will do is, these will be, let me see if I got a little piece, what I do is I'll come on in and I'll leave, and it'll probably be a smaller uh, gap than that, that's about a quarter inch, I'll probably bring it down close to an eighth inch, so that the only thing sticking on this is just that little bit of tape uh, because then when it comes time to peel it off you're relieving a smaller piece of tape and less chance of see that still has really good stick to it so it'll probably be closer to an eighth inch um, because the last thing you want to do is pop this up because then I've got to take it all off recover it, repaint it so it's just kind of a pain in the butt um, but you know that's that's part of the project 
So let me go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'm going to do this all off camera because I'm going to be back in my little dark room. Um, I'm just going to go in. I'll shoot a uh, quick little uh, shot of, of yellow on this and then I'll bring it out here, let it set up. And then I'll go ahead and I'll spray another coat on and see how it looks. I want to try to get away with just two coats. So I'm not going to flood the first coat. It's going to look kind of cheesy. <laughs> That's a figurative term. I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. It doesn't look pretty, but it's just as long as I get it to work, it's going to work. And then when I do the fuse, I'll bring the fuse down and I'll show you that one too on what I'm going to do. But just from the picture, everything that's yellow on the fuse, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to come in. I might not even use pencil lines. I'm just going to come down with the fuselage and spray it to where I know it's going to be safe so that all of the yellow is taken care of uh, the first time through. So I'll take the canopy off um, and I've got to take the, I've got to do some taping to, so there's going to be a little more setup with that one, but it's going to be painted the same way. I'll just come on in, take it out back, shoot a quick little coat on the top of it, uh, come on back, let it set up for about 20, 25 minutes, go out, shoot another coat and take a look at it. And if it looks good, it's going to stay that way. So, um, that's, that's the easiest part of this paint. I mean, the, the paint job's not going to be that difficult. Um, I just want to make sure that let's just say I'm taking care of the most difficult part first, which is the yellow because it's over the, uh, open structure with just the covering on it. So all the rest of it's, you know, you're painting, um, on top of a solid structure, so you don't have to worry about it. I just, the last thing I want to do is start tearing up this covering. So, anyway, I'll bring you right back in as soon as I get, uh, get the first stuff sprayed. Sorry about that. Alright, here's the first coat. And it's light. Now, what I have just decided to do, because it's what I do, um, you can see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, you can see the pencil lines. So it's not giving the coverage what I was hoping it was. I, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a little more opaque than that. What I'm probably going to do, because I'm going to test this next on the uh, on the, the ailerons, just because it's, it's that way I can get away with seeing how much grain's left. Um, I'm not worried about the blue. I'm not worried about the red, because that is dark. What I'm worried about is the yellow, because it's not dark. So what I will do is the way this is sitting because I'm trying to I'm trying to avoid shooting primer on the whole plane but with what I'm seeing right here I, I'm very quickly um, kind of directing myself where I think I'm going to shoot primer on the whole plane uh, just because th with the turtle deck I want that solid I don't want any light push pushing through it and I think that because this yellow is not opaque enough and this was, this was, you know, 10 seconds worth of work, just spraying these things down real quick. Um, and I already see the problem. So I'm not worried about the wing shining light through it because the bottom's solid. It's, it's the uh, turtle deck. You're going to see through it. Um, and that's something I don't want to see through it. So, um, so the decision has been pretty much just made that I'm going to uh, primer the whole plane first. So uh, what I'll do is, you guys don't really need to see the primer job because it's just shooting a whole bunch of this gray, what's over there, a whole bunch of gray primer on it, and it's going to be quick and nasty. Uh, but it's just, it, it's, it's not that hard to shoot primer. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all primered up, and then uh, uh, I've got to wait for this to set up. So this, I'm good shooting primer on it probably later on today, but I may just leave the wing um, just, you know, I can, I can bang that out first thing tomorrow morning because I don't go into work till about 11. Um, so, uh, you know, this is the way projects go. It's, it, you know, I'll make the, make the plans. Cause remember I was told you I wanted to make a little uh, test board. I decided I'll just shoot this and see what happens. Um, so, you know, decision made, primer it is. So, all right, it's been one of those days today. Um, just a lot of little, little things I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing, I've got actually had three projects today. Got one of them done. Had to put a new right rear caliper on the van because the, uh, the cup seal decided to let loose the other day. So, so that was my little morning project. Uh, secondly, I ended up, uh, as you'll see, because this is, this is a, a Warlock video, I hope. Um, I'm starting to paint the Warlock. So, <laughs> I'll, uh, 
I'll give you a little bit better heads up, hopefully, through the old Acaso. Um, I'm, I'm still working on audio on this one with the hopes that I can get the audio and the color balance right. Um, and I think so. If you notice it's really dark in here, I've got uh, one power supply on my LED lights. Uh, kind of decided it didn't want to stay in play anymore. So, um, so I've got to order another one. And if I'm going to order one, I'm going to order two. That way I've got a backup because you know the other one's going to go soon too. So anyway, let me kind of show you what we're sitting at right now. I've got everything primed up. And this is the very first coat of yellow. And everywhere you can see yellow is where it's going to be yellow. Uh, the whole tail uh, that's sitting outside the... Um, well, you know what? Actually, actually, sorry about that. It's over, it's over that way. Well, to you guys that way. Anyway, it's over in the vise. It's the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Excuse me. It's called an elevator. Here it is. There's the elevator sitting with a little... Uh, with a little clamp just ready to go so that's sitting up waiting for its first coat to tack up to where I'm happy to spray another coat okay so the elevator is the rudders outside um, this is just the very first coat the way because this is two coats here on the wing so we're looking at probably three and these are light coats I'm not I'm not laying down heavy coats so this is two light coats so hopefully one more light coat uh, will be good so that's it's gonna be a very bright yellow brighter than I'm used to. Anyway, I will bring you guys back in. Hopefully I'll get lights fixed soon. Um, from time to time on this, what I'm going to be doing, because like I said, I'm working on a couple different projects at once, and I want to try to get at least one, in, one out to you guys this week. Um, all the, my only thing I'm doing with the Warlock is I'm getting the yellow painted on. And you notice that there's a little bit of overspray on it on the sides. That's because it's going to be masked off and painted that red and then blue. So the red's going to jump right over the top of the, uh, the yellow because it's so dark anyway. So I wasn't concerned about that. And the fewer tape lines I can have, the better. So, so anyway, this will get done when it's all finally all fully yellowed up uh, and dry enough to move around, which will probably be, you know, tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll, I'll give you just a short little clip of what it looks like to that point. And then uh, it's just, you know, a matter of, you know, a couple days off that I can have this thing finished painted. I'm hoping. So, all right, anyway, uh, that's a little today's little heads up on the Warlock, and uh, things are going well. All right, welcome back to the shop. For all of those who have been watching the Warlock build, um, I've been painting, and it's, it's, I've got about two weeks of total time into it. Uh, between uh, putting the coat on and then changing colors when you go from yellow to, to red, or excuse me, I went from uh, yeah yellow to red. Um, you got to wait 48 hours. And it's, I, I didn't test it to see if you can shoot it, the, the different color over that quick. I wanted it to dry all the way, just because I didn't want to have any problems popping up. So it's been like two weeks, and you saw the, the Albatross build um, video. That's still not done yet. So let me just try to uh, give you, get you guys all caught up uh, just to where I'm at right now. Okay, here's where we are at. As you can see, I've got all the yellow done, all the red done, and I'm starting to work on the blue. There's the blue right now. It's, uh, so that's the, that's the final color. Now, the thing, this is, it's very tedious and very mind-numbing, and that's why you guys aren't watching this. It's all got to do with taping uh, for the stripes. And this is not a stripe, that's just some 3M uh, automotive uh, masking tape just so that you can go around curves. So I had to come in, I had to make this curve and see if I can give you a decent view from above. Um, so this is the curve and then it comes down along the side and then it comes down to where it's going to be the quarter inch. So this one's already set in place, all I've got to do is put the, uh, put the bottom the tape on the bottom and then the tape on the top of this to spray this section up on the nose all the way back to the tail. Here's where it's going to get interesting. I have not gotten this part done yet. I started on this side. I went with the 3M uh, that I got from Johnny. And it looks like it curves up here in the bottom, so I had to make an adjustment to it. This is the old 3M uh, fine line tape. Um, sorry about that. That's some 316. So I just went ahead, brought that, and then wrapped it around this part of the tube. 
you know, there might be a little bit of an overspray under here, but you're not going to see it. Um, I mean, you guys will notice there, but you know, in real life, unless you're going to pick the plane up and flip it upside down, you won't see it. And then that's just going to tail back to here. So this is going to be the blue stripe on the side that goes up over the top. Now, as you can see, I'm hoping you can see, right about in here, uh, this paint will pop. That popped with that kind of tape on it. So i got to be very careful when I'm pulling this off. Don't lift it up. You've got to bend it over and make it really sharp so that you're just not pulling it straight up. You're actually bending it over so you're folding it back on itself. And that should get rid of all that. It's, it's a smart way to take the tape off, and that's how I do it. That was just a, a piece just for measuring. And this side over here is already all set up except for the final tape here. So, like I said, it's been busy. My goal is to try to get all the blue spray today. I'm going to get all the tail done. So this, I've probably got about another hour, if not more, of taping the tail. I've been doing this for almost three hours already today. <laughs> so I'm going to, it's probably going to be about a total of maybe five hours of prep for a few minutes of spraying. So I'm just going to do the tail first. So this will all get, um, I'll do the finalizing on the taping up. And then I'll wrap it up to here in paper in the, in the uh, you know, that stuff. And then I'll just cover it with a uh, towel up here. Spray the tail, take this off, and then we'll come back later on in the day and finish this up with get this done painted. And then the plane is done. And... Once the painting's done, it's just got to, everything's just got to be hooked up because it's, you know, once the paint's done, it's just going to be a matter of, you know, give me an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour. Figure, figure, let's, just say, let's just say about three hours. Um, and it should be completed, balanced out, ready to fly. So um, it's getting really close. So anyway, um, I will bring you back on this from time to time. And uh, maybe we'll do an, an unwrapping just so you guys can see the the shock on my face when it comes out right. It's been I've been I've been uh, very thankful so far that nothing bad's happened. And I shouldn't have said that. So anyway, um, yeah, it's just a long, boring day. So uh, I'll see you guys uh, later on. All right, let's just see how close to in frame. <laughs> I can keep this. to show you real quick not good that's so far the only spot on this plane I'm gonna have to come in and figure out what I want to do with this 
um, something I can address later on. I'm not too worried about the red over the blue. That I can kind of scrape down. It's the yellow. That's the only problem I have is with the blue. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, the rudder's fine though. The rudder's perfect. The vertical stabilizer rudder came out nice. Uh, it's this. So we'll see how the other side turns out. Hang on. So we'll see how the other side turns out and make a decision what to do from there because it's I can make if I had to I could make these just a little bit wider but then if I'm doing that I'm gonna be doing both sides making a little bit wider so I want to see what the other side looks like um, before I make any kind of kind of decision like that because I don't think I'm gonna be able to touch that up with yellow but uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do 24 hours later all right as you can see it there's nothing left in the shop but you and me let's go outside and take a look now just beware this is chicago it's the end of the first week in may and it's still cold and rainy out and the ground is mush so just uh just so you can see it outdoors Remember how bright that yellow is right now. It's dull and as you can see the sky. That's 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 why everything looks dull So anyway, she's all put together painted. I still don't have the hinges. I've got the everything is hinged I don't have the uh, uh, the control rods. I found the one for the uh, elevator I haven't found the one for the uh, for the rudder. So I've got to go ahead and dig that up again now the ailerons they're all hooked up and of course the landing gear is hooked up and she does have a funny looking little stand. Sorry about the metal. This was set up to keep it from rolling back just in case it started blowing in the wind. Um, you know, it's not it's not 100% where I'd like to have them. Um, I'd like to have them even with the leading edge of the wing when it's up during takeoff. And it's not. It's probably about, I don't know, let's go almost three quarters of an inch back. So it's gonna put this closer, it's put the wheels closer to this, the center of gravity uh, than I'd like, but we're gonna see how well, you know, this works. It, it will like short grass, it will not like tall grass. So that's gonna be uh, pretty much when it comes time to fly this one, if the field hasn't cut and the grass is tall, she'll be sitting at home. So anyway, next time, next video I have of this, it'll be uh, it'll be all hooked up, and I'll just run it around, and do some ground testing with it. Um, I got to figure out where I can do the ground testing because uh, I don't want to drive all the way up north to the flip, to the field just to do ground testing. I just get this feeling that uh, it is not going to like tall grass at all. Um, it's going to have to be a short grass plane. So kind of like I have with uh, my uh, De Havilland Tiger Moth the monoplane the DH-71 um, because of the because of the wire holding the, the front landing gear together that's got to be low grass so normally when I flew that one I was up there the night before cutting the grass to make sure it's as low as it could be this plane is going to be about the same it's going to have to be a low, gla uh, low grass plane um, but it is uh, it is by how, probably how you guys saw it you may agree with me uh, on the ground with the landing gear down, it's, it's an ugly duckling. Let's hope that it looks a lot better when it's up in the air with the landing gear up. So it's, uh, it's an interesting looking plane. So anyway, um, yeah, so let's consider this done. Uh, next step will be to finish up the uh, albatross, which will be, uh, uh, you know, piecemeal. It'll probably be the next time I come down here. I don't know when that's going to be. Uh, maybe a week from now. Um, but uh, after that, I've got to uh, get the Taylor Craft, not the big orange one, the freebie, the one I got from Max. i got to get that down here. I've got to go ahead and uh, get an engine mounted in it. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do engine-wise. I've got two options, but I think I'm going to go with the, oh my gosh, I, I, I want to say NGH26. It's, it's something I got from Hobby King, you know, heck, almost a decade ago. Um, and I've tried to have it's I'd never had a plane for it. I mean what I was going to use that for I never used it um, so I uh, Offered it to friends to throw inside a plane they were building and uh, It never went in any of those either. So so anyway, so that'll go in the Taylor craft So uh, so as soon as, as soon as I get those two things done Taylor craft down next We'll get that thing. I'll go. I will do the final go through on it because it's in pretty good shape 
and uh, just put a new motor in it and go out and just fly the living poop out of it. So go ahead and have some fun. So, all right, anyway, see you guys next time down in the shop.